love playing with the guys. The chemistry is amazing. So um, it's definitely going to be fun to play. And I uh, just can't wait to see what we have in store. Does that mean you might be able to go to another level again? <laughs> Time will tell. We'll see. <laughs> Bryce, apart from Maddie Knight's thumb, is everyone good to go? Yeah, to my knowledge, yeah, everybody else is all good to go. So we're squared away, and we just want to make sure we make the most of every practice now because our days are numbered as far as the first game coming. And four out of, well, four out of five. Uh, four out of the first five games are at home, so mm -hmm. that gives you a, a good opportunity to get well out of the blocks. Absolutely, and uh, especially with us coming off that eight-day road trip, we're glad to be back, and um, with us having that many home games to start the season, we want to build on that type of momentum. Can you tell us about the scrimmage you just saw? It looked pretty competitive. The guys were pretty passionate about the victory. Mm -hmm. Just like exactly how you saw, guys go very hard every day. That's, uh, that's pretty much our culture around here. And um, if we're going to go this hard in practice, obviously, that's going to carry over in the game. So this is where we build all our good habits. What did you learn about your teammates during the preseason games? Um, well, I mean, for the most part, I, I know all the, the veteran guys. But as far as JP goes and uh, DC, they're just great, great uh, hard workers. And JP's athleticism is probably top in the league, so he's going to be a sight to see this season. And I think uh, DC is going to be one of the same because he's a freak athlete as well. So uh, they're definitely going to be big pieces, uh, part of our team. Does that fit in really well as far as chemistry goes? Yeah, like, like I said, our chemistry is, ama is amazing, honestly, on and off the court. But more importantly, because it's pretty good off the court, I think uh, that's what makes us play better in the games. The fact DC hasn't had a chance to play in the preseason games, do you think that will work, work both ways and that the other teams perhaps... Or how do you think that will work come Saturday? Um, well, obviously we have the upper hand because we probably know a little bit more of what he can do than they can. So hopefully other t we'll catch some of the other teams by surprise and um, we'll just go from there. Okay. What, what's he going to bring to the, to the court, do you think, on Saturday? High energy, like I said, he's a freak athlete, great defender, and um, he just has a, he has great instincts for the game. Honestly, I'd say so. Uh, I'm looking forward to see what he has, and considering he's missed the whole preseason, I know he's just as excited to go out there and finally his first game playing will actually be the opener. So that'll be exciting. Do you know who's going to be? In hmm? Is he frustrated not being able to play? Um, I mean, as far as his attitude goes and everything, he's been upbeat, cheering with the guys. Uh, you wouldn't even know he was going through that, you know, not missing the game. So I think that's a testament to his character. And uh, we're just glad that he's cleared to play now. Have you got a good handle on who's going to be in the starting five on Saturday? Do you think it's still up for grabs this week? Uh, your guess is as good as mine. <laughs> you mentioned that, right, on the, uh, the chemistry off court. What, what makes it such a tight group? And what, what are you doing on court to build that? It's not that you necessarily do anything. Chemistry isn't something that could be forced. It's just the guys naturally get along. But I think because we have veteran guys who have played with each other for so many years, that kind of fosters into when the new guys come in. And it's just easier to jail in because we have like a blueprint to go off of. How, how big a decision was it for you to come back here and, and back to Perth? I mean, you had the summer league experience. And, um, I guess committing to the, the league and the clubs has been big thing to have you back. I mean, for you personally, how big has it been to be to come back here? Uh, it's amazing. Like I said, I'm excited to be here, uh, especially for a full season. Uh, just the feeling I had playing with the guys last year, even though I was only here about two months, seemed like I was there the whole year. So they just did a great job making me feel welcome um, on and off the court. And for me, especially, that goes a long way. And now that I get to be here for the full season, um, I'm just glad I get to be a part of that. You got one eye on a game against Casey when you come up against him. Casey. I'm sorry? One eye on a game against Casey Fraser. What about that game? You got, you got a penciled in the diary at all? Any extra interest in that from your perspective? Nah, I, I treat all the games the same. Um, Casey's my guy, though, for sure. We still stay in touch. Um, it'll be good to play against him. But yeah, no, nah, I treat, treat every game the same. What about Brisbane? What do you make of them coming into to Saturday? Um, I think it's going to be a pretty intense game. We're going to have to match their intensity, uh, especially with it being the first game. There's going to be a lot of uh, probably jitters. I think both teams work out, you know, and calm down probably two, three minutes into the game. And then I think everything will settle in from there on both sides. How important is it to get a you know, group of wins in that first block of games at home? Uh, it's always important to win as much as you can. but. Uh, 
as you said, considering we have that many home games to start, that's something you definitely want to take advantage of. Uh, you don't want to let the team steal those home games. Who's been the most impressive team you've played so far in the, in the preseason? Um, I mean, all, all the teams are pretty good, honestly. They all bring different things to the table. Um, I would say probably, again, just like last year, Cairns, they always stand out to me as far as just how hard they play, um, their physicality. So uh, they haven't missed a beat from what I can tell and what I saw when we played them. So um, I'd say they stood out to me most as far as just a physical standpoint. Does it talk of a, a three-peat before the season has even started? Is that premature? Is it distracting? Or is it motivational? Uh, honestly, I don't. I don't well, I don't think any of us think about it. And it was the same thing last year when I had gotten here. Um, there was a lot of people, you know, talking about, oh, can we repeat or whatever. We just kind of blocked that out. You know, you can only control the game that's in front of you, and the results will be whatever they are. But I don't think that's uh, something you should put in your mind because that can become distracting. I see the uh, other teams over in the U.S. playing games against the NBA. Does part of you wish that you kind of got the opportunity to do that? Um, I mean, yeah, sure, it would have been, it would have been a great experience, but uh, I think it's great for the league considering that uh, we even have the exposure to play against these teams, so I think that's a testament to show how the league is growing, so that's amazing. It would have been fun to play, but I'm um, happy for the teams that did play.